Welcome back. I was going to say, have you started notice, noticing little dust bunnies hopping around, but here we have a bunny bunny hopping around. <laughs> it's time to start thinking spring cleaning, Todd. Yay. Or how about just some everyday hacks that we all need in our lives? There's your Thanks to this. Favorite book. <laughs> Household Hints. This is our book that we turn to. So many handy dandy, semi-ridiculous things are in here, but yes. I like to give them a try. We did this a couple weeks ago. We yes. had fun with this. Yeah, we did. So you have stuffed animals at your house, right? Plenty. Lots. Okay, so this one is, you know, the, it's on the verge of getting to the point where it's a little bit rough. Yeah. So what you do for old stuffed animals, the hack is right there. Spruce up old stuffed non-washable toys by placing them in a bag with baking soda. So okay. put, oh, bunnies, get, hold on, that one's got a hole. Don't do that. That one's got a hole in it? That would have been a disaster. That would have been a disaster. Would have been, okay. Look, I have another one. Okay, wow. So put, that one's got a hole too. Bunny. Anyway, what you do, and then you would dump a whole bunch of baking soda in there, tie it shut, and then shake it, and the baking soda is going to work off some of the grimy ickiness, and it's going to kind of freshen it up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Baking soda in a bag with your stuffed animals. Baking soda in a bag animals. with your stuffed animals. And that works. Boom. That freshens I them up. I guess so. Okay. The book says it does. <laughs> yes, the All book right, says so it does. All right, so I always say that I bring my cats to work because our we have two cats, and cats, as you know, you're not a fan. They shed. They shed. Awful. Pet okay. hair everywhere. Pet hair everywhere. Hack number 701. To remove pet hair from furniture and pillows, dampen a sponge with a solution of warm water and glycerin. Glycerin? Or just use water. Okay. Squeeze the sponge thoroughly. Okay, I have a sponge. Okay, you do. I got a sponge right here. Uh huh. A little bit of water. We're gonna take off the excess because you don't want to get your furniture. Right. And I see this wet. pillow is hairy. It is a hairy. It, uh, it so is, you're just is gonna sim simply just take this sponge, and what it'll do is work all these things to one edge of the pillow. Okay. See how it's working yeah, all in one yeah, spot? Yeah, yeah, it is. There. And then you get yourself one big wet hairball. Just that's right, one big wet hairball that's easier to get off. But sometimes you run uh, run out of lint brushes or you can't find it. I wonder why they say glycerin. I don't know about the glycerin thing, but you can probably get it at any drugstore. I'm guessing. Okay. So yeah, just a light damp cloth. Use this for your clothes too. Sometimes we get to the point where we're out and we're like, you don't have like, the lint roller. You don't have a lint right, roller. Right. Just kind of take a little, you know, because everybody has an extra sponge that they carry around with them. <laughs> just do that. So, are you, are you impressed by this? I'm so impressed. Just a light... You know, I'm buying birthday gifts, and I want to get the tag off the oh, birthday gift. so annoying. And I can't because, I, and, that, and that goo gone or whatever is such a strong smell, and it's Well, it's just it's something, like it's expensive sometimes. Right, right. It's not something we always you have. You have a hack on how to get, like, tags off stuff. Everybody seems to have hairspray at their house, yeah. right? So, okay. hairspray works? So, maybe I wouldn't use my really good hairspray that I brought here today, but let's say, like, right here. So, I want to take this... this Sticker off. Oh, oh no. Yep. Oh, and I left some behind. Yeah, okay? that always happens. You start pulling on it and right. then. So, you, so granted, yeah. because this is a food item, I wouldn't spray the hairspray directly on this, but this is more if you're going to like a thrift store. I buy a lot of like vases and that sort of right, thing. And you right, have that, you see it on the bottom. They stick it right on the in the worst spot. Right. So, what you do, like, let's say we take our little handy dandy little sponge Whoa. that we happen to have, <laughs> spray it with a little bit of hairspray. Hairspray. And then go over the spot where. Uh -huh. That was, okay. and the hairspray eats it. Well, eat that little sticky eats stuff the glue. right off of there. So don't necessarily okay. use it on your food items if you can help it. Actually, just a little bit of water on a sponge like that uh -huh. also helps to get some of that goo off of there. Because don't just sit there and pick it. Hairspray out. works like goo gone. Hairspray. Also, if you have ink stains, okay, this I know of. Hairspray will help with your ink stains. Really? That's what the book says. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this book, boy, if you haven't heard. The Bible. <laughs> Household hints. Save time, save money, save energy. And some of these are quite ridiculous, by the way, yes, but we, we picked out a couple that you could use. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. What's your favorite one? My favorite one? There's got to be one. Well, there's one in there. Oh, let's do real, real quick. Oh, okay, 714. Place, wait, 714? Yeah, there's, there's, going they're, number num seven. they're numbered, aren't they? They are numbered. Okay, oh, the so pressure. what's 714? Cover scratches on brown or cherry mahogany with old iodine, which is turned br uh, brown. For red mahogany, use new iodine. And for maple, try diluting iodine and denatured alcohol half and half. Bingo. Got to get that iodine. Iodine. We'll be right back.